Hey, this is Dylan with Dylan Talks Tone. Today, we're going to put together that telly that we planned a couple of weeks ago with the Bigsby and the DAF humbuckers. We're going to do a little bit different today. We're going to speed through some parts. We're going to slow some parts down. I'm going to explain some stuff. It's going to be really fun. Do me a favor before we get started. Hit the subscribe button, the little bell next to it. Share this video with everybody. You know you love this channel. We got like hundreds of videos all about guitar stuff. It's pretty cool. Guitar Tech Tuesday. Let's get going. All right, so first things first, let's just whip the strings off of this thing. No big deal. And uh, let's go ahead and get all of the pick guard off of it, get the humbuckers out of it, uh, get the bridge off of it, get the wiring off of it, and uh, basically start with pretty much a clean slate. It was a pretty much easy tear down, no big problems, but I discovered some stuff along the way that we will talk about in just a minute. Okay, so now that we have this thing apart, I learned a couple things about this guitar, this, what is this thing called? The Player Series Tele uh, with the humbuckers in it. And I know a couple reasons why it sounded so terrible. Um, in fact, after I posted that last video, I saw a few posts on like some Telecaster groups on Facebook and stuff. And there were some people that were like, yeah, I like it. But there was a lot of people that were like, this guitar is awesome, except these pickups are terrible. So I'm going to show you a couple of things about this that cause that. One is they are just the regular cheap uh, pickups built by Arctic over in, um, I think, are they in Korea? Um, they're just the same exact pickups everybody puts in everything. They're just the, the boilerplate generic humbucker pickup that goes in everything with the brass base plate you can see the badging and everything I mean they're probably going Epiphones they probably go in they probably going everything so um, they're just the generic normal pickup that's number one and the other weird thing about this is this is actually pretty good hardware so this is an Oak Grigsby switch in fact we use the same Oak Grigsby switch in our custom stuff in fact the Fender Custom Shop uses an Oak Grigsby switch in their stuff so um good switch and it's actually these are cts pots too so they're actually really good pots and it's got the little ceramic capacitor in there and it looks like it's a 0 0.050 capacitor instead of an 047 which is really weird so that's super deep like really really muddy sounding capacitor to begin with and i don't know why Fender put 250k pots. They're CTS pots, so they're good pots, but they put 250k pots in a humbucker guitar that already is known to have pretty muddy pickups anyway. So this whole conglomeration of stuff that they chucked in this thing is the reason it sounds terrible. So yeah, so let's go ahead and fix it. Put the humbuckers in it. We're gonna put the base plate for the Bigsby on it and uh, get this thing wired up and get strings back on it. I'm gonna get it cleaned up too. It's got a bunch of junk all over it. And uh, we're gonna make this thing into a pretty awesome guitar. But that's it, pot choice. So if you have one of these um, and you don't have a ton of money to put a bunch of, bunch of money into it, what I would recommend you do is I would recommend you go to our website. We'll put a, one of those gray boxes and we'll give, get you in one of these. So this is just a loaded Telecaster control plate but if you tell me that it's for a player guitar with humbuckers in it, I'll make it with 500k pots and we'll make it with the correct cap so that it sounds good even with your stock pickups. And I think that will make a massive, massive difference in how this guitar plays and sounds. So uh, I would definitely do that. So we'll put a link to that up there. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing together and get it sounding good. The way this works, this is a new one for me. I've not used this before. So the way this works is this screws into the center screw and then we go ahead and we put strap pin back in. Unlike other Vibramates where you don't have to drill any holes, we will have to drill two holes. Yeah, so the way the weird way in which the three holes line up on one of these tellies this is made to where we have to put another new hole and another new hole here. 
And I think if we put a new bridge on it, put the bridge back on it afterwards, it'll still cover. So like if you wanted to take this back off, you could still put this back, the old bridge back on and you would not have any exposed holes. So I guess in that way it is reversible. But this is the first Vibramate kit that I've ever done where you actually had to drill holes in the guitar and could not do it with just existing screw holes. Okay, so I want to point something out here. I've said this in videos before. We've talked about it before. Uh, see how there's these rubber um, O-rings on here? This is because when we put a Bigsby down, there's foam on it. And we do not want to tighten this thing down so tight that it is completely solid against the guitar. It has to have a little bit of play in there. And that is because if this is twisted at all, I'll show you in a minute, it will not return to pitch properly. So these are not meant to be slammed down to the guitar. You've heard me talk about this in videos before. It is not meant to be bolted down for sustain or anything like that. But that's basically it. I mean, it is snug to the guitar, but it is not like slammed down to the guitar. The reason for that is if we were to twist this at all, the Bigsby would bind up. It's not bound up at all, though, now. It's awesome. That's what we want. I guess it's time to put the pickups in it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put our Alnico 5 DAF humbuckers by Dylan Pickups. You can get them at Dylan Talks Tone. We'll put a little gray box up there to them. Uh, there are low output, super vintage style kind of humbucker. Um, they got they were on the top 10 list in Premier Guitar a couple years ago. They're actually really good. Um, and so we're going to use those. We're going to use our pre-wired tele control plate with two 500K pots as well as the uh, 0.047 cap, uh, like I think we mentioned. And it's going to be basically a pretty sweet setup. No coil splits, nothing like that on this guitar. Straight humbucker stuff. Uh, it's going to be a pretty sweet setup. One thing I want to do also, and we're showing this here, is we want to go ahead and use our Lizard Spit fret polishing system. I noticed on even cheap guitars that there was a lot of kind of junk all over the frets. This was a brand new guitar, but there was a lot of junk on the frets from um, the, the finishing process. And the nickel is kind of cheap on cheaper guitars. And so it needs to be polished more often. I would recommend you get that kit. All right, so I guess the last thing we need to do is I'm gonna go out in the shop and uh, solder the pickups to the control plate and drop the control plate in. And then we'll put strings on it. Oh, you know what? Before we do that, we gotta do one more thing. Um, I'm gonna do that right now. We need to double check the geometry. Here, let's just do that while you're sitting here. Okay, so we have to shim the neck. So let's whip the neck off of this thing and, uh, and shim this neck. All right, so basically that just consists of taking the neck off and cutting some shims. I think we used some granola box cardboard. I like to use cereal box cardboard or like a Coke box cardboard because it's it works perfect. I think we put two layers in here and um, screwed it all together. Yes, I used power tools to disassemble and to actually start the screws this first time, but I also finished it up with a screwdriver. So don't flip out on me in the comments. Well, here it is, y'all. Check it out. It's all done. Bigsby. All the stuff done. 500K pots, 0.047 cap. Got our uh, drop-in wiring harness from DylanTalksTone.com. We've got two DAFs in here. And we've got the Bigsby on a Vibermate that I've actually never used before. So the real question is before and after.
let's throw uh, some tube screamery stuff. I'm using the same profile. I'm using the same settings. I'm using the same everything. I'm using the same guitar pick, the same strap, everything. So the strap, like, you know, you don't want to screw up the experiment. Let's throw uh, some tube screamer ish stuff on top here and uh, play around. <laughs> thing is really good man big time and uh so yeah this is all stuff that you can just get off the website literally just click on it and get it now i don't have the bigsby stuff but if you really want this stuff let me know i am a dealer i can get you what you want and if you have a weird situation like this and now i know a little bit more about some of this stuff so shoot me an email if you want and uh, yeah, man, this thing's a killer guitar. These things sound terrible out of the box. I'm not going to lie. They're terrible. Um, but I think we found a really cool combination for it. And uh, it's going to be super, way more versatile, usable in a lot more situations. And it's going to have clarity in it that it just doesn't have before. <laughs> man it's just it's good it's fun i've been playing it a bunch it works it's great the pickups sound great it stays in tune the bigsby works awesome as long as the setup is good if you have any questions about that we have more videos all about that stuff uh yeah man this thing's a cool deal until next time thanks for hanging out this is dylan dylan talks tone make sure you hit the buttons do the stuff share the thing i really appreciate it a lot make sure you like this video and we'll talk to you soon